Not many people realize it's for sale. And I just thought it was a really cool thing to put on the show. Harrison said. I never glorify gangsters or murderers on the show. And I think OJ is a douchebag, who did some really bad things. I'm a dad with six kids and I'm trying to teach each of them a little bit of morality, the porn stars host added. But I felt it would be good for the show and I figured I'd give it a shot, he said. The Bronco may receive added attention given that Simpson is scheduled to be released on parole by early October after serving nine years in a Nevada prison for his involvement in a 2007 armed robbery and kidnapping case. I've been offered some OJ stuff over the years and I always tell people to go someplace else, Harrison said. I hate stuff like that in my store. This is one of the most conflicted episodes we've done. He, Gilbert, contacted me and was interested in selling it, Harrison said. It was just a really weird day, when the Bronco was brought to Harrison's shop, because everyone saw, the Bronco, and there's a crazy fascination with it. Their, slow speed chase, had better numbers than the Super Bowl. He added, I'm a superstitious guy and I got a little bad mojo, from the Bronco. It felt odd and it was a little weird in the end and it made me feel weird, but it's a strange market when it comes to OJ. I just don't deal with OJ memorabilia that much, but, Harrison said, it was an interesting day of filming. Gilbert reportedly said he will sell the truck to anybody except OJ Simpson himself, 